Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very exciting video of polynomial equation. 1 degree 12 polynomial is given to us x power 12 plus x power 8 equal to 12. We have to find the real solution of the given polynomial. So I am going to use substitution, exponent, exponent properties. Then we will use long division method and synthetic division also. Then we will use quadratic equation, get the answer, verify some conclusions. Let's get started. I am going to put x power 4 is equal to t. But before that, I will write this equation as x power 4 whole q plus x power 4 whole square equal to 12. Why? Because of x power a power b can be written as x power a b. So x power 12 is x power 4 power 3. Similarly for x power 8. We can write x power 4 whole square. Now let's substitute. x power 4 is equal to t. So equation will be in cubic in variable t. So t cube plus t square. Let me take 12 to the left. So it will be 0. Now this is cubic equation. I can solve using remainder theorem. I can solve using long division. I can solve using synthetic division also. I will show you by long division and synthetic division today. We have seen remainder theorem problems in the earlier videos also. So let's take so first find out one factor of the given cubic equation that is t cube plus t square minus 12. If I will put t equal to 1, so there will be 1 plus 1 minus 12, no solution. If I will put t equal to 2, 2 cube is 8, 2 square is 4, 8 plus 4, 12. So yes, there is solution. So I will write by putting t equal to 2, this is hidden trial for cubic polynomial or higher degree polynomial. If you want to apply remainder theorem or synthetic division, you have to find out one solution. So that is t equal to 2 here in this case. So I will write t equal to 2 is one solution or t minus 2 is one factor of the cubic equation of this equation. So what I will do, I will divide this cubic equation by t minus 2. So that is long division method. t minus 2 divide by t cube plus t square minus 12. So let us divide. How many times I will take t square? It will become t cube minus 2t square, change of sign, minus plus, cancelled out, 3t square minus 12. Let me take 3t times, 3t square minus 6t, change of sign. So, 6t minus 12 will be having. Now, it is obvious you will take 6 times then it will become 60 minus 12. Remainder is 0. That means factors are t minus 2 and t squared 3t plus 6. t squared plus 3t plus 6. This method is called long division method. Now let's solve using synthetic division. t cube plus t squared minus 12 equal to 0 and we know t equal to 2 is one solution. So what we used to do, we, you have to write first t cube plus t square plus 0 t minus 12 equal to 0. Now write all the coefficients 1, 1, 0, minus 12. So first the leading coefficient we will write as it is 1. Now you have to multiply these two numbers 
and write over there. So two into one. So two. Now add the numbers three. Now same job. Two into three. Six. Add the numbers. Six. Six into two. Twelve. Add the numbers. Zero. So these are your coefficients actually. So equation will become t square plus three t plus six. Okay. So this is called synthetic division method. Okay. Now let me write the factors. T cube plus t square minus twelve. We can write again. Same result we are getting t minus two, second bracket three t square plus three t plus six. Now there are solutions coming from first equation. You can see if it is zero, then t is equal to two is our one solution. Okay. Now check for real solution if we are getting from the second equation also. So t square plus three t plus six equal to zero. Let's find out solution. T is equal to minus b, so minus three plus minus square root b square minus four ac, so minus twenty four over two a. That means two. You can see complex solution are coming, so we will reject this minus fifteen over two. It will give us minus three plus minus i times root fifteen over two. This we will reject because we are calculating, we are finding real solutions. So what is left? That is t equal to two. And what is t? We started this problem by substituting x power four equal to t. So T is equal to two. That means x power four is equal to two. So x will be equal to plus minus two raised to the power one over four, or plus minus root two of root two. You can write like this. Now let's verify or check the result. Confirmation. Okay, let me put x is equal to plus root two, or better is to write two raised to the power one by four. Let me put the value x power twelve plus x power eight equal to twelve. So two raised to the power one by four raised to the power twelve plus two raised to the power one by four raised to the power eight. It should match with 12. So let's find out. Yes, it is 2 cube plus 2 square. Is it 12? 8 plus 4 equal to 12, which is true. So this solution is correct. Now let's check for the second value. That is minus 2 root 2, uh, 2 raised to the power 1 over 4. Or minus root to root two inside the root. So let us verify this one also. What is the difference between first and second equation if powers are even? So that result will come out same. So I will write minus two raised to the power one by four whole power twelve. Again, minus two raised to the power one by four whole raised to the power eight. This will give us two raised to the power three. Plus two raised to the power two because exponent is even number, so minus will become plus. So it will give us twelve. So twelve is equal to twelve. That means two. So this solution is also correct. So x will be equal to plus minus two raised to the power one over four. I hope you like this video. Until we cross paths again, bye bye for now. We'll meet tomorrow in next and exciting topic. Bye bye.